Hey everybody, this is Cindy over Paper Old and New. Welcome to my channel. I am going to work in one of my random ongoing projects. I was going to start by showing you what I've got going on right now and then we're going to pick one of the projects and kind of work in it. Um, first of all, some of these projects you'll kind of remember, <clears throat> but this is like because I have several going on, this is going to be an update and then we'll work a little bit in one of the projects. This is the green, <coughs> excuse me, this is the green um, envelope flip book that I was working on. So I've done a few pages, mostly... I've sewn in the signatures and I have been trying to cover up any um, pages that I don't want, uh, like the white. So I will probably cover the back of that with something. I've been looking at using these three fabric swatches. I might make a flip in here because this allows for it. As far as the length goes, I mean the size of the page. The other two books, I don't think that's the big book. I don't know if the medium book, yeah, the medium book probably would too. I think they're close to the same size page wise. So I have these, um, fabric remnants from my seventies wallpaper book. And then, um, these are just some things I was going to use as backing. They're old. It's the cover off of a book, but it, they're old. So they're aged and I was going to use it to back some cards. But anyway, so yeah, so we've just been going through here and I think I'm done with the small signatures. Um, I have cut out some ephemera to use in these that's green. Um, I have made some plans for some other pages. Uh, I just need to cover up the whites. And then I have these pages like this side I'll cover up and this side I'll kind of play with as far as leaving it because it's, it's trees. So it's kind of with the green theme and then that side I'll cover up and then this and so on and so forth. So, and I kind of organized into, so I've got, you know, doilies and ribbons and things in this box. And I, I just gathered lots of green stuff. Actually, I'm going to put these in this box. Let's see if I can keep all of this stuff in one place. That's not going to stay. Whoa, this is too fat. That can't go in the box. It can probably go in this box. So, and then in here, I've got bigger pieces, bigger scraps, bigger wallpaper pieces, things to use um, in the journal itself that in there and then these these kind of stack so there's my my green journal kit when I'm ready to work on it I just pull out these boxes and there you go uh, same with um, you'll probably recognize this I'm still working in my um, I thought I would show you where I am though in my um, in the journal I've been making out of Tina's kit, this flip flop journal. So I've been telling you that the the envelopes I use like this, I've shown all the signatures in. This is an envelope that I covered. Okay, so as you can see, I used some bigger envelopes for this one. They're almost page size. Let me see. I'll give you an idea of how big these ones are. These are, see, that's almost six inches wide. It's about five and seven eighths. And then, yeah, I mean, so these are pay, a pretty good page size. Like, I think that's nine inches. It might be a little more than nine inches, actually. If I use this ruler, yeah, it's actually nine and a half inches. So these were pretty big envelopes that I used in this one. So I used a small one here and then a middle one here, both of which I kept the windows. And then I used a real big envelope here and here. 
And then in the back, this envelope had to be cut down some, but it flips out. And I've sewn in, like I said, I've sewn in signatures. I've got stuff tucked in here to add to the journal. So tags that we've made, a pocket, you know, some clip-ins, stuff to add. But I've sewn in all my signatures. And you can see I used uh, Tina's kit papers and then I added some coffee dyed paper and some music sheet. This is textbook and law book paper and this is green writ dyed paper. Um, I've added in some of the pockets and things we made that I've gotten ready for this. Uh, I think same here. There's a pocket there. This one has a tag in it. This one also has a tag in it. I might back that. I mean, you could write on that, but it's got a texture from the dots, so it might be kind of hard. Okay, and then this signature, this folds in and this signature folds over. And then you go this, that being the front. This is the one I, this is the signature I've been working on. So I added a lace pocket in the front here. And then I've been messing with this one. So I've got a tuck. Um, oh, I didn't glue the back down. I guess I better do that. I think part of me was going to make it a belly band. So I guess I glued according to belly band. And then I made a corner tucked there and I've kind of decorated this journaling paper and here's a little fabric flip. And I'm still going through this um, signature and then you have this signature pocket and just some flip outs and stuff just to use. And then of course the two signatures you just saw. Now when you flip it over, I have this, this has got a magnet I have to cover, but it's got like a scrappy, I put a bunch of scraps there and then that closes. And then there's not going to be a signature there. So that'll just close over and I'll do something with this. And then you open it up and you have a signature back here. So again, some of Tina's papers, a pocket with a tag. Uh, here's another pocket with a little tag and just, you know, so this is where we are in this one. So this might be, um, you know, a journal that at some point we work on. Again, I've got bigger pieces in here. Um, some things I've made to go in the book. Uh, you know, just kind of tucked away down in here. And then this lid goes on and this has uh, all the ephemera bits and the scraps go in this box. And then again, if I want to work on this journal, I pull out these boxes and there you go. Now, I'm not so organized with everything. I have a couple of accordion books. So these are the one, this is, this one's really big guys. I think I overdid it, <laughs> but these are the ones where they have the tuck and then the flat page. And then this one's flat pages and then there's tucks. And then I think if it's not tucks this way, it's a belly band pass through that way. So I have that one. And then I made a right, a big one with the pockets at the top like this out of the same paper. I used up this scrapbook pad to make these. And then I've got some cutoffs that I'm going to decorate these with. So I have those two accordion journals. And then I have this one that we did on, on film that I am working on. So I put my, um, spine cloth on and I've selected scrapbook paper pages, which I have made, um, you know, pockets or whatever out of this is upside down. It goes this way. No, it goes this way. <laughs> I'll figure it out in a minute. So this way, and then I use the, um, I'm using the, what is that? Storybook paper pad. Uh, some of you probably know what I'm talking about, uh, but I've made a lot of my pages out of that paper pad. 
and some of them I've cut off even and are ready for me to add more paper and some of them still need to be worked with. So I've got that and then I've got a lot of cutoffs and stuff to use in this journal. I have not gotten this these accordion books in a box yet, but these are my accordion book projects to work on. And finally, I have this. This is what I, we're going to work in today. Do you guys recognize this? It's been a while, right? So I've been adding laces and some decorations. What got me back to this one is, I guess it's the middle of summer and I was feeling like it. Uh, Christina sent me the happy mail and this fabric that I wanted to put in here made me think about it. And then, um, you know, we did the belly bands in here and I just got to thinking about it and it's summer and I haven't been to the beach. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to work in my book. So, um, I've added these, uh, crocheted pieces to kind of decorate and I have not glued, I've glued them but not to the cover yet because I don't know how I'm going to do the topper. So I've just attached them so I know where they go and then I'll glue them down once I figure out what the topper is going to be. Um, and in the back, I've got these ones here. So we've added lace and what I'm doing now is I'm going through and I'm adding trim on some of the pages and that's what I wanted to work on with you guys today. So I plugged in my glue gun and uh, mostly we'll be doing trim. I might add a few things here and there, but most of my embellishment stuff is upstairs. So next time we work on the beach book, I will bring it down. So right now we are going to put this along here and along here. I think it kind of mimics this rope. This paper has an embossed rope border and it kind of mimics that. So I'm going to Actually, I'm going to take it out of this little, this is some of that stuff that was in the big, huge hall. <laughs> if you guys have watched that, this was in there. So, and this is crooked here and it's not straightening out very well. So I'm going to cut it off and hope for the best. We're going to cut it where it starts to get straight like that. And then I'll have this piece to use for something else. I'll figure it out. And then what I normally do with these, because they are, um, kind of woven together. And a lot of times when you clip them, they start to come undone. What I'll do is if I'm, especially if I'm using hot glue, I'll go across the end so that the entire end gets some, and then I go down the middle. So I'll put a little bit down the middle and then that's how we'll attach it to the top of the book here. We're going to put it right up here like that. And I have found that if I do that, if I go across the end like that, it tends to keep these trims that are woven together like this from unraveling. It helps with, you guys have seen me use this trim. It helps with this kind of trim too, this upholstery trim. See how it's like a bunch of different things woven together. When I cut the ends off of that, um, when I'm ready to glue it down, if I go across the end, it allows for it to all hold together real well. So, so we're just going to glue, and I'm actually going to do this on both sides of this page. I don't always, I use the same lace on both sides of this page. So we're going to go ahead and use the same trim too. I don't always do this. I'm more of an asymmetrical person than a symmetrical person. So typically... You won't find me doing this, but every once in a while. All right, let me just make sure that I'm going along. And I just figured maybe once a week, um, <laughs> we're hoping once a week, I might be able to get in here and I'll give you an update on some projects if I've worked on them um, off camera. And which I probably will, uh, you know, also at the end, let me get my glue stick back in there. Um, at the end, before I cut it, I'll do across, across the edge of the page where I'm going to stick it down. So can you see what I'm, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to go, I'm going to do that T. So it's going to go across about the width of the trim. And then I'll stick that down and let that set before I cut the end off of this. 
That way nothing unravels, right? Okay, and we get a nice piece of trim. I kind of like these burlapy trims with the beach theme. I don't know, it kind of gives me that, I don't know. It just goes together in my mind. So that's why we, that's why I'm doing this. So I'm gonna cut that, I'm gonna trim that. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing here. So I'm gonna go across with the glue and then give myself a start to get it down on the page. And then we'll just go down the page and get this one down. Now, if you remember in that, in those huge hauls, I think it was in the second half, um, I hauled like, I, I, I bought a, I got a bunch of this stuff on Prime Day at Amazon, these burlap trims. So, uh, I'm kind of excited about the fact that they, to me, they go with this beat, this whole beach idea, kind of like the, the wicker baskets and the straw hats and that sort of thing. I don't know. So we're going to clip this. And I know some of these thicker trims add a little bulk, but I'm okay with it. All right. So that's that. And then these are pockets. So eventually I'm going to have to make, you know, cards and things for this. All right. Now I don't have anything on this page and I don't know. I have these flat trims and I'm kind of thinking about putting them on here. Uh, the thing about them is, is they have, look, they have holes. I'm just going to take, I don't know, with the holes punched out, that's kind of cute. Although that side has lace and this side has nothing. So maybe I'll put it on this side. I'm not going to do both sides. Like I said, asymmetry guys, asymmetry. Um, I just like it better. Uh, when they go, but don't necessarily match, which means I started at the wrong end of this. So I had to go all the way down. <laughs> okay. So I was thinking maybe I would put this one here. I think that's cute. And the circles, the punched circles tie in with the fact that there's like circles all over this page. So we're going to go actually, I don't guess I need that. I could use Fabri-Tac on this because this has a nice backing on it. So let's, well, I'm going to cut it there. What's nice about this is I can use that on the bottom of a card or something on the bottom of a tag. I have a bunch of little, I have a bunch of little scrappy cutoffs from doing the tr lace trims and stuff. So I'm keeping all of these to use on, uh, you, you know, maybe on tags or embellishments or whatever. <laughs> I filled my glue bottle today, earlier this morning before I came on. So that you guys wouldn't have to wait on the glue bottle. Um, I, I've actually been kind of excited to get back into this book. I have been letting it sit for so long. It's just that I, when I realized, I looked at my stuff and I said, oh my gosh, you realize with all these other projects and videos and things you've been making, you've got like, I have like, if I count the accordion book and then the other two journals in boxes that I showed you and this beach altered book, I have at the very least unless you count all three accordion books separately, I have four journals going. I was like, okay, we need to start working on these a little more. Uh, where'd my rag go? Off into the, nope, oh, found it. Yay. Um, so yeah, so I figured, well, if we can get in here and I can make plans 
to work on something, you know, once a week, be it tags or pages or whatever we're working on in that particular journal, then maybe I can get some of these projects finished. And I'll work, like I said, I'll work on them off camera too. They won't, it won't totally. And maybe one of these days, it'll just be where I come on here and say, guys, it's time to do a flip through. Want to see how it looks? <laughs> and it'll be all done. Okay. Get that off of there. That's just trash. Okay. I need a little scrap bucket up here for things I'm going to throw away. Okay, so that goes on there, and that's a little piece of trim. Now, obvious, these pages aren't finished, but at least there's that. Okay, and then moving on, nothing on this page, but I don't know what I want to do on this page yet, so we're just going to kind of leave it. I do have this pocket to put in somewhere, so we're going to be adding this somewhere, not there. <laughs> and probably not here, but I'll check. Uh, I don't hate that, but that's mostly because it covers up all of this, which is what would clash with it. The orange isn't awful, but I don't want to put that there. Uh, I did add a little lace piece here as a pocket, and I figure I'll embellish. Oops. I'll embellish on the corners, maybe something with something. Uh, you know, like if I was to put something like this on here, I, it won't be that. I don't like that. But if I was to put something on this, like this on here and just glue it, because that's lace, so I would only glue down here on the bottom so that you could still get behind it for the pocket. So, you know, something like that. But anyway, uh, I have lace here, so we need to find trim. We're not going to put this on here because I don't want to cover up the bike. So we'll sit that up there and decide on our trim for this page. Um, I don't know. I was thinking maybe this. Just because... Uh, it's the only one I have really with this kind of um, orangey red. <coughs> Excuse me. It's kind of orangey red looking. I actually can't decide if I like that or not. Does it blend too much? Is that too close to what it is on the page? That might be too much blending. I could probably get it away with it on the edge of this page. I actually kind of like that. I was trying to wait. I want to glue this one here. This is a belly band. This is a belly band. So I have to watch where I glue it so I don't interfere with the belly band itself. But I want to glue this one here. I just don't know if I want to put anything here with it, which is why that hasn't been glued down yet. Nope, I don't like it. Most of my embellishment things are upstairs, so let's figure out what we're doing over here before I go traipsing off and getting to do something like that. I don't want to go too fat. I don't want to cover up the bike wheels. Okay, here we go. Let's get the end and see where that would sit. Actually, the bike would sit right on that. I like this. This ties into this lace because that lace is kind of a tan. Okay, so we'll do that. Now, let me get... I don't want to undo all of them. The other project I've been working on is trying to spool all my trims. And I made a comment in one of my videos, I, or I made a comment on somebody's channel, I think, on a video. Something. I said somewhere that I had ordered some ribbon spools to do spooling trim. I didn't. I just looked at them and then didn't order them. <laughs> so they never came in. So I've been making my own. That's a slow process, by the way. Only because I'm kind of decorating them so that they're not boring. If I'm going to make them, I might as well make them look nice. So... Yeah. It's a self-inflicted wound, the fact that they're taking so long, but. All right. So let's. 
put a little more glue. We'll go down this page. If I look at the time, if we get some trims on here and we look at this and we have made decent time, because this, this one was going to be, um, this was kind of my project update and, you know, do a little bit in one of the projects video. Uh, the next one will pick one of the projects and the whole video will be working on the project, hopefully. Um, do my T so I can cut this free of the spool. And that is that. Like I said, this beach book was the one that um, sat upstairs and sometimes I would work on it um, when I wasn't in my craft space. So I'd go upstairs and work on it. And it, uh, we're going to come back to this because I need to take care of this pocket before I worry about anything else on that page. Um, I did a lace belly band on this one. Oh, wait, we skipped. I already did trim on here. I don't know if I want to put anything else on there. I think that would be too much because it's already got, you know, it's a little hat and it's, I don't know though. I feel like the page still needs embellishing, but I'm not sure what with. It would be kind of fun is to do it like that and then do it on the bottom so that it looks like it passes through. Let's try it and see what happens. So anyway, um, yeah, the beach book, it sits upstairs so that when I am upstairs looking for something to work on or I want to work on, I just put the glue on the wrong side, guys. That's the burlap side. Well, that was just silly. All right, let's cut a new piece. I was being a ding dong. All right, there we go. Now let's glue the correct side this time. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. I mean, I put glue all over it, so. I should probably be putting glitter or something on it so that it's, you know, not totally wasted. <laughs> You know what I could do? Hold on. I don't know if it's dry yet. Okay. So that would go up there. Like that. Now, there's a piece of me that feels like that's light enough to journal on, so I don't want to mess with it too much. Um, oh, these are kind of wide. They're good for this page, though. I wonder if... Oh, that's not still sticky. Maybe it's not centered, but it's just to hold it down. It's like a stiff spot. I don't know if that's going to, I don't know. I, I put that on there and we'll see how that does. And then what I'll do is I'll use the strip to kind of glue it, help hold it on the page as a flip up kind of, we'll see. All right. Um, what was I doing over here? I was putting this on and it's got to come out the bottom. So we're going to put another piece down here. So let me cut that off. 
and I still have a little piece to save to use on tags or something. I hope I didn't move this and now it's too short. That would be kind of frustrating. Ever so slightly, but not enough to worry about. Okay, and then this is a be uh, this is a belly band with a pocket on the front. We did this in the video um, for shop my stash, and then it's a belly band, so I'll we'll have to make a card or something for that. This has this on it, and I do want to put trim on there. <sighs> Let me see. Oh, you know what? This is blue. I wonder if I should put. That's wide though. That's like really wide. I don't think I want to use anything that wide on any of this. And I have these guys. I wonder if this would be too much. Um, no, actually, kind of like that. Okay, wait. No, it's got to go that way. There we go. Let's do it like that, and I'll put glue. Let's do our T right here. And then actually, we might have to follow the rainbow thing there. Sorry, is my head in the thing again? I don't think it is. Okay, this one's a little more, I can't just go down a straight line because it's open down the middle. <laughs> There's no, so I'm kind of following the top arch. Well, it's a good thing I stopped. Come to see, look what I do. Make sure it's straight. All right, now. Okay, now we'll cut the end. Actually, we'll cut both ends because I there was a straggly end that I didn't glue down up there, which I think is on camera, so you can probably see it dangling off the top up there. Okay, and then we'll cut this end off. And I'm not really worried about this piece. No, I don't want to cut the lace that I put down. I don't want to cut, oh, about two pages. That's why. I don't want to cut that lace though. Did I glue it to the lace? That could be a problem. Okay, that's good. I'll put that up there, who knows, for now. Okay, nice. I'm liking this with the beach stuff. Okay, uh, this is a belly band. This one's gonna be a tough one for me, guys. I'm gonna have to figure this one out. So that's that may be sitting for a minute. This is fun, this is my, oh, this one. I do want to put, so I put this little bitty lace trim along here because this is the narrower piece. This is that pocket that doesn't sit flat. It buckles. Um, but I was thinking that maybe I would do the trim along here in something different, like maybe this. Maybe. Oh, I don't like it. Um... I like this trim. Can you tell? I keep trying to use it. I don't like it there. It's too dark. I, I actually had a thought just now as, 
if I decide to embellish this with something, um, I can glue to it. What I have to do though is put like wax paper or something under here so that when I glue, I can pull the wax paper out after it's dry and it won't stick to the page, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if that will work. That's just a guess. <clears throat> I don't see why it shouldn't work, but that doesn't mean it will. Uh... Well, anyway, let me show you where we are. So I got a ruffle here. I don't want to take up too much more time. We might stop there with our trims. And then the next time we're in here, I'll bring some more interesting embellishments. But I'm having um, a good time adding trims to this. Oh, and we have to do our mermaid. I put, gave myself a note so I didn't forget. Um, I have a fussy cut mermaid that's going to go here. And she's going to have a vellum page cover, which I'm going to have to figure out how to do. Because, yeah. But I don't think it'll be too bad. I think I'm going to do a... a yeah, it's going to flip and I'll just have to embellish the edge, maybe depending on what it looks like. Uh, and then again, I've just been adding lace trims. I added some crocheted trim here. We have lots of pockets to make stuff for. Um, this is where we are though. And I just thought I would bring you up to date. This is the belly band we made on camera. I haven't done anything. Added some crochet trim here. Can you see how straight I glue? You see how crooked that is? <laughs> Too late now, it's stuck. Oh, this was a short leftover piece that I had and it wasn't long enough. So what my thought is, is that I put this down here and then the bottom down here is gonna have some sort of an embellishment. Uh, this is a tuck, Ooh. unless I glued it closed. A little bit, maybe. Can tear the paper? I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, that's a tuck. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to have to put something on here, but I don't want to interfere. Although my tuck closes... Yeah, I don't have a piece of... Oh, we'll just use this. Yeah, it goes down pretty far, but I have a pretty good... So this is a side tuck, and we'll just have to figure out um, something to decorate this with that doesn't interfere but can decorate this and I don't know what I want to do with this page yet. I kind of want to leave it for journaling because you could write on this and I think that would be kind of pretty to write over the thing. Um, and then this has a thing and it's missing part of its bottom so that's definitely going to get some of this. This is glued down as a pocket or an uptuck so I glued it all the way around. But it stretches, so I don't know how that's going to go as far as putting. And then what I did with these was I offset. So I put this one on as an up tuck upside down here. And then this one comes up to the top of this pocket. So I have the lace going down to there and then up to there. So at the ends, it is like that, which I thought was kind of fun. But that's how it looks so far. And the one thing we did not do is get our pocket in. You know, I could glue that down and just make this a pocket. Although I was going to make it a double pocket. And if I glue it there, I feel like that would get in the way of it being a double pocket. Ooh, maybe I could put it here. I don't know, guys. I kind of want to put it somewhere where it's like not right next to something else. What about there? It might be kind of fun. And this is just going to be, oh, I don't want like, I, I have this thing. I don't want to cover up those suns. This might end up being a journaling page. Where did I drop him off? Where did I drop him off? I lost him. There he is. I could put him on here, but this is a pocket. So it would be pocket, pocket, pocket. <laughs> I mean, not that that's a problem. It's just all in one spot. You go in the sun, that might be kind of fun. 
I don't know, guys. I'm having a little bit of a... Having a little bit of a moment with this. This might have to be a I got to think about it thing. If I was going to put it on here, I would want to glue it under the trim. Not there. Not there. No. And we decided it would be okay here, except for the fact that, huh, again, I glued down trim. See, that's too busy. Okay, well, I'm going to have to think on this. Um, short of gluing it there, my favorite so far, I think, has been this one. So he may end up there. We'll have to see. I'm going to keep him there for now. All right. Like I said, I know. I said I was going to let you go about five minutes ago. And here we are. Okay, so I hope you guys liked this um, jump back into the Altered Beach book. And hopefully it will be done soon and we'll be able to flip through it and say, wow, it's finally finished. <laughs> and I will see you guys in uh, the next Pick a Project video. Bye-bye.